97, we got our very own repping Queens. Yes, that's right. Hi. Jackie Cruz. What's up, man? How what's are up? you? I'm doing wonderful. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Of course. So now you know her as Flaca yeah. from Orange is the New Black, which is obviously, I mean, you know, it's a little show that maybe yeah. some people have seen. Now let's talk about it getting picked up on Netflix. Oh my goodness. Congratulations. Thank you. It's an original series, which wow. is exciting. One of the first ones. So I'm happy to be, uh, you know, representing Netflix and, yeah. and it blowing up like that. Like, I didn't expect that. So how did the whole role come about for you? Flocka, was it something that got sent in and you... It was just a regular audition. Two really? lines. Feisty Latina. Two lines, that's it. Yeah. And uh, what became of her character, it, she's grown throughout the seasons and it's just been a blessing, but it's just showing, you know, it makes me feel like, wow, I worked for this. Because yes. I started with, with two lines and then season four I became series regular which is really cool oh it's my like god getting my gold star <laughs> so you know a lot of times when we're watching these shows we don't know what's gonna happen right like neither do we and that's <laughs> i think that's so crazy yep i didn't know why i was in prison until last year <laughs> yo that's crazy i had this crazy idea that she, oh, she's stupid <laughs> she yeah. probably like sold drugs for her like right. boyfriend but no, it was not that. I think it's so interesting that you say it, especially with the times, mm -hmm. you know, that's going on around us. I, I love what this show has, how it's changed my mind. Just really? being on it. Tell, tell us about that, because I think it's so important, because a lot of times we look at actors and actresses and not realize that you guys are humans and yeah. the roles you play, you actually embody and you feel a lot of the yeah. pain that they're going through. Absolutely. I um, honestly, being on the show, I was judgmental about women in prison before I started being mm -hmm. a character. I was like, oh, she must be really bad. She made a mistake. Like, um, she's not a good person. All these things in my head because I have family who have been in prison and are still in prison. And I would always like, not look down on them, but like, I was like, why did they do that? Right. But then now I'm in it and I'm like, wow, you know, they're humans just like us. They make mistakes. You know, you can go to prison for anything. Right. It's insane why, how, why you can go into prison. So honestly, I just think that we're all human and we make mistakes and some of us get caught and some of us don't. And yeah, it's just, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful show and yeah. I'm excited to be a part of it. How did you prepare for the role of Flocka? Um, I watch a lot of Locked Up, yeah. a lot of Scared Straight, a lot of documentaries. Um, I didn't go to prison um, to prepare for it. I actually got involved in a organization called Women's Prison Asso Association, which mm -hmm. was with Piper Kerman mm -hmm. after I started the show. And I started meeting a lot of women who had second chances and they told me how they ended up there. And it was just incredible, the stories they told me. Do you feel now like maybe at this point you're not obligated, but you, you feel like you want to do more for women who are in prison, Absolutely. who obviously don't have a voice to speak for themselves past a show i actually um i i have a lot of people that write to me and that i write back to That's and that amazing. i meet through women's prison association i just sang for them recently for the premiere and we made some money for their organization which helps women who get out of prison get That's a so job great. get new clothes uh f get their kids back you know start over yeah. which is uh, it's it's amazing because you know it's really hard to get back into this world yeah it's scary as well so yeah i i definitely started you know listening to them and um they inspire me too that's amazing so where does your career go from this point where does jackie cruz want to go Mm, this is just the beginning for me. Nice. Thank you, Orange is the New Black, for opening that Hollywood door for me. Absolutely. I have um, now all these amazing, you know, fans that are, you know, fans of Flaca, and now they're interested of what I like to do, which is sing, and I like to, you know, I'm producing my own short eventually, and featuring into like a feature rolling into a feature so i'm excited to like produce direct and um sing yeah in the future. you covered selena right i covered selena because nice. i'm a big fan oh we're all fans right gosh when she's getting her own star finally after 21 years come which, on well deserved yes and she's made a lot of latin girls and all women like right. believe that you know they can also sing and make it happen in america absolutely <laughs> it's so funny to me that like oh she was 
like the start of curvy bodies. Like she had body, right? You know what I mean? And she was just so her presence. You watch her, her smile. She just it felt like she was your friend. Yes, right. And um, your cousin. Your, yeah, your, just more than that. Just she, I felt like she really cared. You know, and that, she did. Yes. She did. And, um, you know, just to see you obviously reflecting and, you know, paying homage is always nice to see that. Yeah. And she inspired me to, you know, want to inspire other yeah. women and girls like me. Because honestly, growing up, I besides Selena, I never saw, like, anyone on TV that looked like me represented yeah. us. Yeah. And, you know, brown skin, you're yeah. brown skin too. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? You mm -hmm. want to see yourself. You yeah. want to see yourself on television and be like, oh, I know. I know someone like that. Or, yeah. yeah, so... Uh, she inspired me to, to do that and open the doors for others. Now, Selena had her boutique, and she was a businesswoman. Yeah, that's, what's, that's what it's about. Now, Jackie, <laughs> I'm so... I'm into that, too. Yeah, so talk to me. What's the businesswoman, you know, stuff that you got going on? Because oh, I, yeah. I see you out here. Of course, I love fashion. I'm yeah. into it. I my all my tias is funny my backstory is very similar to my own backstory they all make clothes like That's i'll send so them awesome. till this day yeah i'll send them a picture and they'll like okay i'll make that for you you know <laughs> what i mean so i had like my own little boutique at etsy like hollywood gypsy but i don't have i don't have time for that right now but you know i just i love you know to to do a million million uh millions of things so i just want to make my dream come true yeah. which is a bunch of stuff you yeah. know record music yeah. like i'm working on that right now wow uh, yeah so let's talk about this music so if someone for the first time is going to listen to jackie cruz's music because you know we are always questioning ah uh, can it's an annoying it's annoying over. yeah a little bit because they're like oh she sings too right and, and it's like okay people can do more than one thing right so yeah, I, I started singing. That was my dream. And acting was always in there. And I missed That's it. That's so great. And it was my first audition, Orange is the New Black in New York, because I stopped acting for five years since I wasn't booking anything. And um, that's crazy how that happened for me. I love that you <laughs> said that right now, because a lot of times people don't realize how long it took for this point. Like, they see the show, and they might hear, oh, it was just an audition. But you weren't getting booked for five years. I, I, I gave up. I, I wasn't Latin enough. I wasn't Mexican enough. I wasn't this. I wasn't that. And I'm like, no, I'm enough. And you mm. know what? I miss acting and I'm going to try again. And it was just this little like hunch in my stomach. I was like, I, I have to, I want to try. I had never auditioned in New York before. Yeah. And I feel like New York had a little more leg room for, you know, people like, you know brown skin community yeah. oh yeah and i um and that's where i got my opportunity which was awesome yeah. but in la they still have a lot of work to do they they just put us in a box and there she doesn't look like this no and it's not even about the talent yeah which is amazing about orange is a new black i didn't get hired because i'm pretty or anything i went in there no makeup you know looking raw and you know just doing my lines and we all got hired because of our talent which is really awesome so and it awesome. feels so good. Congratulations. <laughs> I you. love that. Let's talk about the show. I know a lot of people were sad that Pusse and... Spoiler alert. I know. <laughs> so how, how do you feel about not shooting with Pusse anymore? Um, we just started shooting season five. Yeah. I think we all teared up a little bit, you know, when, when we just see her. Because <laughs> she's we, she is alive. Yeah. So and she says this funny joke. Uh, we went to Pride in Toronto, and people are like, "I can't believe you died." And she's like, "Spoiler alert! I haven't seen it." Yeah. And I'm like, "I think that's so funny." Yeah. But yeah, no, we're all very sad. I mean, she's the OG. She started with all of us, and we made this show happen. And without her, it will never be the same. Yeah. It will never be the same. Wow. When I saw that you guys went out there to support Toronto Pride, yeah. especially during the times of the Orlando shooting, yeah. were you at all nervous? People are going to do what they're going to do. I, I didn't even think about it, honestly. That's great. I didn't even think about it. I didn't worry about it. I was like... God knows what he does. You know, I'm I'm going. I want to support, and I'm here, and we're we're here together. So, yeah, yeah. that was it. <laughs> I love that. I love the the strength of love. You know, just wanting to go and spread love, and you know, bring that feeling to everyone. I think it's so important. Um, a lot of times during what we're going through, being that we are Hot 97, you know, we're faced with so many issues like Alton Sterling's 
passing yeah. and you know Philando Castile and now the police officers how do so you awful I don't it think is. It, I don't know it's just really awful I literally have been like, I want to post something because I do want to use my platform for the good, right. but I'm scared about people's comments. And you know what I said after I heard about what happened last night, I was like, I want to post something. And it was um, Martin Luther King, you know, a yeah. message about violence. And I was like, I didn't even caption it. I was like, he, here it is. And, um, you know, people were against it and for it and I'm like you know everyone's gonna have an opinion but I want to use my platform for the good like I said and yeah. I don't think you know fighting violence with violence is right right I, it's, they're still humans everyone is everyone's allowed to be here it's such a hard time even like as the platform we do have like you said it's you know you want to put the right message out there but not everyone's gonna oh, agree I got a bunch of unfollows yeah it, it was a uh, pink uh, she posted Black Lives Matter. Yeah, I and did people too. There you go. and people were just uh, upset with her. And you know what? She posted another post was said, like, if you have a problem with me saying Black Lives Matter, then unfollow me ASAP. And, you know, I, I think it's amazing to see everybody who has a platform come together and speak up and, you know, not sit back because we do need solutions. I was scared. Yeah. Oh, of course, this goes through your mind like, yo, what's going on in the world? Yeah. Do you think that in your position and other people in your position that this would be the time that we come together exactly. or or do you feel, I like feel like we should unite all of us right now this yeah. is the most important time in our show right now we that's talk what I, about it this is crazy and um i don't know if you know of an artist called bb borelli mm -hmm. she just came out with a song called riot and i posted it on she's my friend and i posted it and it's about exactly what's going on right now and i think that's we need more artists like that talking right. about what's our social issues and what all of us are thinking and what all of us need to do to fix it yeah it's nice to hear that and it's refreshing and i, I hope others use their platforms like you yeah well everyone was going crazy about the whole puse riot yeah, yeah. <laughs> um well it's happening in real life yeah. it's real and it's scary I don't know. I don't yeah. know. I have my my um, stepdad is a New York City cop, yeah. New York cop, and it's ah. Uh, it's we scary have conversation. For him. Yeah, we have the that conversation, and he's a good cop. How do you have that conversation? Because I think that's so important to understand. Because being on this show, Orange Is New Black, and understanding the different politics that go on in jail, in prison, what are the conversations like? Well, people think that you know everything and that you could change everything. And I'm just a human just like you, and I have my own opinion. It might not be your opinion, but it's mine. Right. So people, some people just don't agree with what you think. And it's sometimes scary to, you know, open up. Yeah. And, um, and I go in and I read, you know, what people say. And some things are, like, really, like, racist comments yeah. and i'm just like this is what's happening in the world right now there are still people like this yeah but um you still have to have those conversations and it could get awkward it does get awkward with my stepfather i mean we exactly talk, he is like he's pro what i'm not and yeah. i'm just like and i love him and we fight all the time and yeah. he did not want me to go you know um on the streets and you know he's he's scared for me right he's scared for me to voice my opinion right so i don't know it's just i don't even it's just really that's hard that's real that's real i don't think i mean for you to have an open conversation with your stepfather that's a that's a hard dynamic man and i think a lot of times people are so focused on the big picture but it takes those conversations with people you know like hey look I don't know where to start, but I feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be a press conference between between you and your stepfather. No. It's a conversation. That's tough, man. But at the end, we still love each other. Yeah. Then, of but because course. he's a good cop, and he's like, he's, ever, you know, maybe there are bad people out there, but they're making the everyone look bad. And right. I'm like, yeah, but also, our people, you yeah. know, that are civilians. You know, they're fighting against, it's just not going to make it right. Exactly. Or two wrongs will make a right. That's what, uh, uh, it's like no one, no one else's life is better than anyone else's. You know what I mean? Yep. I'm just, 
torn apart. Yeah, I think right now, it's and it's fair that we all feel that. And hopefully, we can find real solutions that we can get implemented to protect each other and make That's this world a better place. I mean, it kindness. might not. It starts with kindness. Yes. And you know what? I, I thought about this. It's not, I was actually talking to Kiki Palmer last night who was holding a town hall meeting and she called in. She was like, this, we might not see the change in our lifetime. But when we, will we though? And, and when will we? But it's important that we do our best to try to see that change. Mm -hmm. And even if that means our kids and our kids get to reap the benefits, so be it. But let's be part of a conversation with real solutions yeah, I agree. to protect each other. So, I, yeah, I, that's very important, and I'm I'm with her on that. Yeah, <laughs> real. We need real solutions. We can't cry. And I get it. We're pain. We're pained. We're angry. But we need real solutions that can uh, make this world, our communities, safer. Because it's it's not right now. It's real tense out here. So I, I really appreciate you taking the time to come. And yeah, of course, you you're me. a superstar. Oh, and we know thanks. you from an amazing show. And it's I'm excited for your career. But it's also nice to see you being a human being. Yeah, we all are. We you know, are. and being able to talk and not be scared to uh, lose an endorsement. You know, no, it is. Yeah, it's I'm not even worried about that. I'm scared of like, it's not even what people think, but it's just like, I don't know why I, I was scared. Yeah. I don't know what it was. I don't know. I just didn't want other people not to like me in yeah. a way. I was like, well, but you know, it's my opinion. So if they don't like me, they could like, bye. Unfollow. <laughs> Unfollow. It's fine. not a big deal. <laughs> I have 999,000 more. It's fine. No, it's, fine. Think it's, it's amazing. And the show has just like showed me that like I have to use my voice. It's my job. I love this. I love this. <laughs> Yo, Queens must be so proud of you. How is it when you go home to Queens, though? Do you know something crazy is that I grew up, uh, like, I was only there until I was seven. Right. So I was in Corona. I went to, like, you know, the Catholic s school there. But I grew up mostly in the Dominican Republic. Wow. I moved to Hollywood when I was 15 to become an actress. Wow. Yeah. So, and you did it. Yeah, after like 14 years. <laughs> but I'm here. <laughs> and you did it. And that's all that matters. Yeah, but the struggle was actually the best part of it. That's so dope right now. I'm. This is this is such a great conversation. Because I don't, you know, people think that it's overnight and it's not. <laughs> but actually me struggling made me maybe a better actor and appreciate it more. I don't yeah. Know. This is great. Congratulations Thank on you. everything, Flocka, from the show. Jackie Cruz, I'm excited for the music. You could call me that. I, that was Did, my nickname. Was Can ask, you believe that? Do people just call you? No, that you? was my nickname growing up. It's like it was meant for me. <laughs> what? I was always this skinny little thing that never, like, now I'm you know bigger but after the show i've gained like 10 pounds Shh, don't you're, cut, cut it out you're beautiful wait so people called you that before Growing the show up, yeah my this cousins my family flat so oh really i love cool. it i love this right and i now. told them that and they're like we knew it we knew it they, i'm like you guys are psychics yeah because <laughs> honestly my backstory is so similar to like my own life which is really really crazy no, oh, I didn't sell acid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, <laughs> But what? I meant like my family. Yeah, of course, of course, of course, yeah. <laughs>